So today we are going to estimate the amount of our reducing sugar by Nelson Simogi method. We are having our unknown glucose solution, standard glucose solution, distilled water, alkaline copper tartrate solution, and arsenomolybidate solution. These are our reagents. Uh, first of all, we are going to take our standards. We have taken an input as 0 0.2, 0 0.4, 0 0.6. So I take my first input, 0 0.2. We do have to use standard reduce sugar. Next is point four. Then we have to add point six and point eight. So now we have done the last standards. We have taken the code as 0 0.2, 0 0.4, 0 0.6, 0 0.8. Now we take our unknown solution of 0.2 and 0.4 liquid. So now we have taken our records of standard and unknown. Now we have to make the level of all our tubes to 1 and 2 ml with this the water. Now we have made all the tubes uh, with the final volume of 2 ml. All are having 2 ml. Now we have to add our reagent alkaline copper tartrate solution. What it does is our copper tartrate solution has cupric in, uh, in it. This cupric is going to react with our reducing sugar and our reducing sugar is going to reduce it to cupric oxide. We have to add 2 ml of cupric, uh, cupric uh, copper tartrate to every tubes. So what it will do is it will convert our cupric ions to cupric oxide. And that cupric oxide is going to react with our second reagent which is the arsenomolybidate. The, when cupric oxide is going to react with arsenomolybidate, it's, it's going to give us a color, molybdenum blue. And that color, with that color concentration, we can estimate the amount of our unknown reducing sugar concentration. So right now what we are doing is, when we add our cupric uh, tart cup copper tartrate, all our copper ion cupric ion uh, copper ion is going cupric uh, copper ion is going to convert into cuprous oxide. That cuprous oxide will react will react with our arsenomolybdate. So now we are done with two ml of our reagent to each of our tubes. Now we have to incubate these tubes in the boiling water bath for 10 minutes. Now in this way we are going to add arsenomolybdate solution to all the tubes and after that we are going to incubate all the tubes at room temperature for 10 minutes. Now this way we are going to add our reagent in all the tubes to ml. So we can see after adding the arsenomolybdate reagent we got this color. We can see that from plan to our standard 1 ml, the color intensity is increasing as we have increased the concentration of the reducing sugar. Now we will take the reading of all these tubes at 620 nanometer and we, um, by plotting the graph of standards, we can calculate the concentration of unknown uh, solution, unknown solution of the reducing sugar, the concentration of reducing sugar. 